This UT business major is not waiting for the real world to start selling. Junior Andrew Gilliland is working right out of his dorm room selling thousands of pens that are equipped with cameras. But it's gotten the notice of UT officials who say the dorm rooms are not for making money. Evan Axelbank spoke with him live at UT, so how is this taken off here? Well, Mark, the pens have been sold to people in all 50 states and in 20 countries around the world. The business has grown so much that it has gotten the attention of administrators for a few reasons. Right. The space is small. So this is the I Spy Pens headquarters. <laughs> my dorm room and my dorm room. But it's not a small business. This is a box full of our product. So we're operating at capacity right now, so we just simply can't produce enough. Junior Andrew Gilliland started I Spy Pen in August of 2016 after watching the surveillance industry boom. At first, he marketed prototypes from China, selling four to five hundred in five months. There's other sellers of video surveillance pens, but nobody is currently doing it like we're doing it. Then he designed his own with easier to download video, one click record, and a lens the size of a pen tip. It holds six hours of video. At up to $70 each, he has shipped 6,000 of them, taking in about $150,000. I just enjoy taking that risk, and I need to constantly be under the pressure of real world you know, business. So how good is the quality on these? Well, it shoots HD video and has a microphone, so you can see and hear me just about as well as you do on TV or the internet. And it also writes. Andrew believes current events have fueled his business. We're entering uh, an environment, I think, as a society where people are always monitoring what we're doing. And, you know, we work with a lot of people who are being discriminated or harassed at work. But this is still a college student. My laundry has kind of had to be uh, kind of pushed into that area there. UT told him this week that he's in violation of their policy against using their room for business. I really love the challenge that I, and every single day is another setback that I face. And he does agree with UT that he is in violation of their policy. He does promise to move all of his inventory out of that dorm room. The school though does say that they are proud of all the work that he has done on this business and the success that it has achieved. And Mark also there is a large team of students here who we should definitely give a shout out to. They give they, they do give lots of help to him. They help him make all of this possible. Yeah, I'm sure they, they'd hate to discourage some entrepreneurship, but uh, we're excited for him. Hopefully he does continues to do well. Evan, thanks very much.